right, TTR Works, come back at you with another video, and this is another anime and live anime and live number four, I think. I think that's what we're on. So let's get right into it, because that's what we do. So I'm actually continuing the animation I did um, on the second animation live. This big guy was running into the screen, and we never finished it. So let's finish this. I'm just coloring his hair here. Forgot how big this man was. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm just trace over him and then zoom him in afterwards. But I probably have like three more frames of this, and then I'll draw him uh, jumping in the air. That, that is supposed to be a foot. Not good at that. Alright, let's zoom in. in. His arms look kind of stupid. I just noticed that.
Oh, watch out for tomorrow, guys, because I'm gonna try to make a, another um, how to animate fight scene tutorial. The hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat stuff. So look out for that. I'm gonna try. No promises, though. I'm not sure. This guy started looking weird, so... What did I do? Change this music up. Oh, and how's y'all uh, animations going for the uh, showcase? Was, um, that boy uh, KD Demetrius, he already sent me his, and it's looking pretty clean. He got some pretty uh, clean work in, so he already got his part in. I didn't even finish my part yet, to be honest. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys are working on it, you know, so we get this uh, community going again, this animation community going again.
looks like it got kind of small. Getting lazy. Getting lazy. Got lazy. I thought he was gonna look bad, bad. Ah, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, I forgot to draw his tattoos, man. Well, it's too late for that now. I mean, it's not, but I don't feel like going back and adding it. Oh, well, so let's just draw this floor or ground. Alright, I want to end it there. That's it. That's enough for this guy. Alright, now what we're going to do is transition so the camera is, is looking at behind him. So it's going to be uh, positioned on his back. Music was way too loud. Um, so it would be positioned on his back. And to transition... I'm gonna just do what I used to do all the time when I was a kid. I used to just draw lines coming across the screen. So boom, that's one frame. Two frames. Three frames. I used to always do this. Like when I was animating on Flipnote, I don't know if you guys remember that. Flipnote on DS. Yo, I used to always do this to skip scenes. And then this fifth frame, I think. Let's see how it looks. That doesn't look good, but it doesn't look that bad. So, yeah, no, nah, it, it's fine. It's fine like that. And then we'll have him. Running, I guess. I want to have him running. This is gonna take a while, guys. I wanna have him running though. The animation will look cooler if he's running instead of him just laying down on the ground waiting to jump. So let's let's draw him running. I never drew anyone running from the back. A pause? No, that's not. No. <laughs> I never drew anyone running from the back though. So. Maybe I guess like this. I'm trying my hardest to draw this out. No, I know, I know how to do this. So.
It would be like that, right? No, his his back will be bent over a lot more. Like all the way up there. arm even higher just like that yeah I'm getting the hang of this I'm gonna look something like that And this arm is down. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. That works. Now here's the hard part. How's his legs gonna look? So when you're running. It's the opposite leg up when the arm is down. So this arm is... Wait, how do you run? Did I forget how to walk? Yeah, so when this arm is up... When the right leg is up... When the right arm is up... The left leg is down, so the left leg is up, so the right leg should be down. Alright, that's cool. Man, this guy is a lot bigger than this. Doesn't help that he's not wearing shoes. Is this gonna look extra wonky, guys? I thought this was gonna look amazing. I want to make him run on a tilt. Not that much of a tilt. Just so it gives that extra effect of greatness. And we're going to draw another floor here. Alright, so he's running. He's running, so. I'm gonna try to draw this arm down now. And then this arm is up.
his head down a little more. And his hair going over his shoulders. Alright. So now that the upper body is done, let's tend to the lower body. So now, since he's running, this foot is gonna go up. And this one's gonna go down. I don't want his leg to go all the way out. It makes no sense. So I'm gonna draw it in a little more. All right, so you guys get the gist of this. Now what I'm gonna do here to make it look like he's running forward is I'm gonna just make his body a little tinier just a little bit and then we're gonna keep doing this until we have a full running animation and then he'll jump in the air <laughs> alright so now this shoulder's up Hold on, let me move this closer. It doesn't look... Alright, that looks about right. Just skip the whole bicep. Skip the whole bicep. It'll just be like shoulder, then elbow. Little bicep, elbow. Little tricep, elbow. If you if you get what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna put his leg down now. I'm wondering if one frame for the leg is enough. Hopefully it is.
And I'm just gonna make them a little smaller. I know it's only three frames, but I want to test it out anyway. Looks bad. <sighs> Alright, we can fix this. All we have to do is between them. I'm gonna drag these frames up and leave one space in between them. I will leave two in front of the first one. So, alright, so I'm gonna in between these guys, and this is the first time I'm gonna be doing this on my channel. Well, not the first time, but first time in a while. Um,. I forgot how you do this, so... Oh yeah, you go to show onion skin shells. Alright. Number of views, so you're gonna wanna do... So I wanna see two frames ahead of me, so... I'm gonna do two. Just so I can see two ahead. The back is ahead, of course. Which makes no sense. And then, should I do green? Should not do green. Don't do green, please. Do red. Make these colors just a little darker, guys. So it'll be easier to see. Will it be easier to see? Kinda. I have no idea what's going on, though. I can't see that. Eh, yeah, kinda can, kinda can. Alright, we're gonna try to work around this. Now, let's do it. So, I'm gonna... Basically, for in-betweens, it, it, it makes your animation look smoother just by going in between the two frames you have. So basically, I'm gonna just... I'm, I'm literally literally just gonna draw in between the two frames that I have right here no that doesn't make any sense why is this right, his bicep is like that and then his elbows right there His foot just got bigger, but I really don't care. Wait, 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 wait. What? When, when you run and you put your foot down, you don't put your foot down like that. See, that's what I'm, I'm missing here. The animation has to be an animation, not just drawings all right so you put your foot down by putting your foot forward 
But that's the problem. How do you draw it? Someone putting their foot forward. Oh, wait, guys. I just noticed what I was doing. Um, Go back to onion skin settings. All right. What I effed up here is the two thing. It shows two frames ahead of you. You don't want that. I thought it showed two spaces, but it shows two frames. So let's turn that off. It was showing me more than I had to see. That's why I was kind of getting messed up there. But, yeah, it's a lot easier to see now. All right. Alright, so the blue is the frame behind me. Red is the frame ahead. Uh, this is harder than I thought. Alright, so this guy, he's gonna go on his tippy toes. That's that's a tippy toe. I tried. <laughs> anyway, let's shrink him a bit. Move him a bit. Shrink him a bit. Move him a bit. All right. Alright, see, it's already trying to look so um, smoother. So, we're gonna make more frames. Because I want this to look very smooth. Very smooth. Alright. Alright, I see what I'm doing here. I see what I'm doing. See, this works. I, I'm getting used to this, guys. I'm literally learning as we go along. Hopefully you guys are too, man. I, I hope you guys are animating with this on. Cause that's that's what I try I'm, I'm trying to help you guys with. You know, you turn this on, it helps you animate. It helps you learn is like what I'm doing too, so um Oh, okay. All right, hold on. Oh, sorry about that. Alright, alright. Jeez, we're moving slow. I'm sorry, guys. This is like, this is a challenge for me. i never done this before. I'm trying to figure out.
Oh, this looks super wonky. I feel like crap right now. You know what? Let's not be negative on this sh this uh this anime live here. But th th goddamn, <laughs> that looks bad. Hold on. Don't you hate when you can't animate as good as you want to? Is it just me or does that look horrible? It's that frame right there. What the fuck? I don't want to curse on this channel. Sorry, guys. Um, damn, this looks terrible. We're gonna keep going with it. You know what? We're gonna keep going with it. Yeah, we're gonna keep going with it. Cause we have to learn sooner or later. We have to learn. We have to learn. So I'm gonna keep going with it. But um, yeah, three frames. We're gonna do three frames per uh, step. So that's a lot, but so let me put this up. Alright, so one, two, three. So 36 will be here. Boom. So three frames per step, guys. Let's do it. We're not punking out on this one. Push through the hard times. Alright. Let's do this. Let's learn how to animate someone running. But yeah, this is probably the hardest time I had I had anime. I'm not even joking. <sighs> right, let's try to get this done quick. It's, it's gonna look wonky, regardless of what I do. So, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just go through with it, guys. I, I have to. It's the only way I'll learn. Can't quit now. We got about... We got about uh, 20 more minutes left. So we'll probably finish um six frames. Hopefully. I'm trying to figure out how someone actually runs because when you act it out, you get a lot better about understanding the movement, so you animate it a lot better. So yeah, his arm is going to be going down here. Alright, um, here we go. So. Same old, same old. Let's just put his leg up here. I'm gonna see what I get out of this. Maybe, maybe it'll turn out good once I start adding um, more frames. Cause you never know. Animations always start off looking a little bad. 
But then when you add more frames, and it, it starts to to grow on you, you know. It's almost as if it gets better just because it has more. Did I draw shadows for those? No. I see another problem. I'm not zooming in. Looks like he's running in place. So let's zoom these in. That's not what I wanted. We gotta hold shift. Now this, I'm gonna, I, I gotta move them into the right spot. But now it looks, it looks a little better since he's actually shrinking. Well, not shrinking, but it makes it look like he's moving. I don't want to make a move in a straight line, so I'm going to move each of these down to the side. It, it looks more dynamic like this. Alright. Alright, see, that's not looking bad. I was getting mad over, over nothing. Yeah, I, that that's not looking bad. So um, yeah. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna pause the video. Just gonna eat something really quick and be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Let's get right into it. so we get more of an optimal and when, when I shrunk these guys they got too small for the size 4 brush they're, they're so tiny now look at this why am I saying they I lost it guys I have lost it
I definitely got skinny, I'll tell you that. I didn't want to make him skinnier, but it just happened. I don't feel like going back on the frames. Yeah, I don't feel like going back. Well, I'm going to shrink him. And then shrink him. All right, let's see how it looks. <sighs> Alright. We're done running. Now it's basically he's gonna slow down and take a big stomp and boom! He's he jumped. He's off. So hopefully we can actually finish this. I don't think we'll be able to um finish the jump in this live. But we can we can at least try, right? I think we only got like ten more minutes. Yeah, I'll animate till five, guys. All right, basically, now he's done. So basically, I'm gonna just move his body very slowly. Very slow. What happened? The fuck? Oh, why? What? What? What happened? I don't know. I don't know. Um, we're we're gonna keep going. So we're literally. I think I'm better at this. Moving really slow. I mean, it it takes up a whole lot more frames, but it's it's. I wouldn't say it's easier, but. Uh, I guess it's easier, right? It's just more time consuming. And if you do this with everything, you'll have to, like, bump up the frame rate. Uh, let's shrink him. Real tiny, real tiny bit of. He's barely moving, so... I want six frames of this.
What am I doing? Oh wait, was I moving it? Is it right? <laughs> am I getting mad? Alright, um, here we go. I'm actually been moving this foot up instead of down, because down looks stupid. Up is how you really run, you know? You don't run just by doing that. You run like that. So it, your foot is going up. It's not going up and then down. It's, it's going, you know, like kind of like that. And let's shrink him up. You got six more minutes. Shrink him a bit. Hold on, let's see how it works. Right, what am I doing? I was still moving him, so it... We don't have to shrink him. He's not moving. I forgot. Yeah, alright, that looks fun. But that's going to be the end of it, guys. And um, 
yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. I don't want to make these too long, like not like way over an hour. They could be a little over an hour, but not way over. So I might finish this off screen. I might do it in the next animated live, like tomorrow or so. Not tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow. I'm either gonna upload another animated live or how to animate a fight scene part six or just the uh, hand to hand combat part two. But yeah, it's been me, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oops, I didn't show you guys the animation. Sorry. Uh, here it is. Right here. This is all we got. I mean, I, I didn't, we didn't finish a lot today, but we learned a little bit, you know? So yeah, at least we got something done. Well, see you guys later.